Hello, this is Ambient Flash and this is the banner tutorial number one. This, in this tutorial I'll be telling you some of the basic tools in Photoshop CS6. I am been using the CS6 version, so let's start. Here you can see my latest project. It's a YouTube banner. As you can see there is a lot of images blended into the one. Here is totally over 30 layers and about 20 images. It took me around two hours. So let's start the tutorial. Next, opening the template. This is for the YouTube template. Okay, here we can say image size. Here we can image size in the pixels, resolution, and other information. So I will create new layer, select the rectangular tool, pressing Ctrl H gives you these guides which I have pre-made, they will tell you the middle point of the banner and the area where the banner is showing. You can drag new lines or make them manually in the options. So next I'm gonna paint black these areas which are not gonna show in the banner. Selecting the brush, brush opacity, the brush size. I will add this template so you can download it into the video description. Next adding an image. Now I'm gonna show you how to create a selection. There is many tools to make it, and I can simply tell a few of them. So here are three basic tools. It's a lasso tool, polygon lasso, and magnetic lasso. But I will be using the pen tool for to make the selection. I would say it's the one of the best tools to make selections. When you click, there comes these anchor points. And when all the selection is made done, they will connect each other into the selection. And you can hold down mouse to make curves around the shapes. I will speed it up to make this selection. The making selection is something what takes the most of the time adding the images. So now you have make a selection and you can right click and make selection. Here you can see feather radius is zero pixels. Click OK. OK, now the selection is done. Next you can click the lasso tool, whatever lasso, and you can cut the image pressing Ctrl X and paste it with Ctrl V. You can also use Ctrl C to copy it. As you can see, now we can make it into the smart object. This is very useful if you are going to make it smaller and bigger. The quality stays in the same. And always changing the image size, hold down Shift. And the image stays in the right dimensions. Here is an example. When I make this image small, and I double click it, it's now in the small. And now I hold down shift and make it big again. This is what the convert the smart object makes to the image. You can make it smaller and bigger without losing the quality. And now adding this image to the place where I want it. By pressing Ctrl H 
you give me the guide and here is the center line of the banner so I hold down the shift resize it in the place this size what I want I want to see the gun a little bit of the legs it's gonna be right here I'm gonna zoom in so as you can see the selection is not perfect there's still some leftovers from the background and I'm gonna add layer mask click here to add layer mask now the layer mask is active in this layer when the layer mask is selected you can paint over it with the black and white color by clicking X you can switch those colors you have selected now I'm painting with the black and it hides the areas I'm painting on and when you click X it switches back to the white and I paint with white and it brings back and if you have opacity 100 it erases everything away you can drop opacity now I'm gonna speed up this end of this video I'm gonna add in here a background and image with a tank using exactly the same tool and the method I was using with the soldier making selection using layer mask if you wanna see more of my works there is links in the description if you follow me on, in my twitter I will share my works there thanks for watching this is ambient flush See you in the next one.